A man wrongfully convicted for the murders of three people in Benton Harbor was set free this morning. In 2005, Corey McCall was sentenced to life in prison in connection to a home invasion that left a man, woman, and child shot to death. The Conviction Integrity Unit at the Attorney General's Office and the Innocence Project at Cooley Law School spent the last few years gathering new evidence to prove McCall's innocence. News 8's Whitney Burney was there as family welcomed him home. In the middle of a rainstorm, balloons mark a celebration for a new beginning. It's been a long time, it's, it's been hard, and I'm glad I'm here. This is Corey McCall. In 2005, he was wrongfully convicted in connection to the murders of three people in Benton Harbor and sentenced to life in prison without parole. News 8 was there when police started the investigation. Three people, including a 12-year-old boy, were shot and killed in a home invasion. A surviving victim testified that McCall was one of the men inside the home with a gun. But McCall told the court he was at Walmart at the time. A few years ago, the Convictions Integrity Unit at the AG's office and the Innocence Project at Cooley Law School received new information that proved McCall's innocence, including new witnesses, a cell phone, and a Walmart receipt. After 16 years in prison, McCall walked free this morning. This is a priority for us, for myself. I spent years both as a prosecutor and as a, a public defender. And so I know the successes of our criminal justice system, but I also know where our justice system is lacking and where sometimes it fails. And when it does fail, we need to do everything we possibly can within our power to correct those failures. McCall is now the second person the CIU has helped to overturn their convictions. Going time in prison for something you ain't do it tends to wear on your mind, mess with your psyche, and you have to build yourself up to come to back to reality. While McCall is free now, there are things he'll never get back. It was hard. Our son will be 20 years old in a few months, and he grew up without me. And he's not the only one. There are siblings. And so they can't get that time back. We can't get that time back. McCall says he's determined to spend the time he has now with those he loves. You can't be angry. You can't hold on to grudges. You got to live and let go. You go on to life. Dana Nessel and the Conviction Integrity Unit say that they've screened at least 100 other cases that they're planning to look into. Reporting here in Ionia County, Whitney Burney, News 8.